Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? Today we're here with some blue suede hooked on the filling uh, from, well, it shows that it was on Guardians of the Galaxy. And I do think I remember hearing the hooked on the filling um, on there, but we're going to sit down and check it out here today, man. The full length of the song. We got two minutes, 47 seconds, man, on this one hooked on the filling. I haven't ever heard of the group though, Blue Suede. Sorry, that's Blue Swede. So we got Blue Swede hooked on a feeling man let's go ahead and dive into this one take a listen right here what we're getting man and uh, just do some research afterwards man thank you guys for tuning in today man if you guys are enjoying the content i produce on a daily basis please don't forget to subscribe like and check out the descriptions man amazing ways to help me on the and the channel all right thank you guys so much for tuning in man let's go ahead and take a listen here we go I can't stop this feeling it's creative deep inside of me Girl, you just don't realize what you do to me oh. When you hold me in your arms so tight You let me know everything's alright Hooked on a feeling There it I'm is I'm on believing That you're in love with me Lips as sweet as candy It's taste is on my mind Girl, you got me thirsty For another Sounds good. Yeah, you turn me on. Ah, hooked on a feeling. Ooh. I'm high on believing that you're in love with me. It's a good sounding song, people. the good love when we're all alone keep it up girl yeah you turn me on ah, i love that feeling. i'm high on believing that you're in Oh man, that's a good one. That's catchy, man. That's so catchy, but I wonder where the Uga Chaga came from, man. That's a funny thing to hear in a song. Creative. Don't know, man. It just seems like odd to place that into a song. It vibes perfectly with this one. So on production, they kind of knew what they were doing there. It just still seems out of place for me. It seems like you don't need that in the song, but it's a nice addition. You know, it just is what it is, but he sings really nice, man. I really like the way they, they work that into there, the like, doom, doom, you know, the percussion, man, that slam. Ah, is that a, I don't know, that's maybe not a Tom, maybe it is, I don't know. But I thought they worked that really well into the transitions of the song. Gentleman can sing, man. Whoever's singing on Blue Swede, this gentleman can sing. Um, so I was enjoying that, man. Obviously, we, we've run into lyrics similar to this in songs before. Hooked on a feeling, you've got me smitten, man. You got me wrapped around your finger. I'm in love. He's high on believing that you love him too. All right? Your lo that love is returned, man. This guy has lost it for you, man. So let's go ahead and learn a little bit about Hooked on a Feeling. Ah, uh, so it seems like Blue Swede is not the uh, originator of the song uh it looks like bj thomas's which we did a song from bj thomas uh wasn't that raindrops um keep falling on my head song i'm pretty sure that was him uh, i'll have to double check 
yeah, so he did range jobs keep falling on my head, which we did on this channel. Uh, but apparently he also was the first one to do hooked on a filling, but I don't think that's the version we listened to today that was the blue suite but let's go ahead and check it out so the original was released in 1968 uh with this version being released in 1973 okay and the songwriter on this is mark james uh, hooked on a feeling is a 1968 pop song written by mark james and originally performed by bj thomas thomas's version featured to the sound of the electric sitar uh played by reggie young and reached number five on the Billboard Hot 100. It has been recorded by many other artists, including Blue Swede, uh, whose version reached number one. So I guess that's why that came up on the radar uh, was because it ranked higher. Um, but yeah, I would have liked to listen to BJ's as well, man, to know uh, what happened there. But let's go ahead and read a little bit about the cover. In 1973, the Swedish uh, pop rock group Blue Swede did a cover version which includes the Uga Chaka uh, introduction from the 1971 cover by Jonathan King. So, did King do this song and then he incorporated that and they kept that rolling? King had heard Johnny Preston's Running Bear, which was the inspiration for the Uga Chaka chant. The Blue Swede version of the song also tweaked the lyrics to avoid a drug reference. The version reached number one in the United States. Billboard ranked it um, as the number 20th song for 1974, okay? And down here, you do got that in uh, the 2014 feature film, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, featured the brass fanfare and the title lyrics of the Blue Suede cover version prominently in its trailers and the theatrical release, resulting in a su significant spike in sales for the recording, man. People were hearing it for the first time or in a long time all over again and was like, yo, I got to get my hands on this song. It's popping. This song is popping, dude. This is a very nice example. I guess it's c considered pop rock. But it sounds so good. It's so catchy. It sound. It, I mean, it's it's very pleasing to listen to. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe that's just me. What song did I? I did the Osmonds, and I had somebody comment like, "I cannot believe you're doing this," like on the channel or whatever. Hey, man, I'm open to listen to music. Just because some people really want to close themselves off, that's fine. You do you. Don't put that on me, Ricky Bobby. Don't put that on me. All right. Uh, I'm open, man. Whether it's pop, it might be uh, bubble gum. Doesn't matter to me, man. I'm gonna listen to it. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. If I think it's good, it's good to me. Um, uh, th there was. I, I think I mentioned on that uh, reaction too. Growing up, man. Obviously, in sync and and Backstreet Boys. Uh, when I was a teenager, I was like, dude, they were terrible. I can admit now they have some catchy songs, some songs that I could actually listen to, and in my head, I'm singing along because I'm like, all right, honestly, that's catchy. Hey, I can be open and admit that and not care what the world thinks, but some people really still feel like they need to be closed off. You know that some of those cold hearts out there, out there are really in their head like, hey, that's a that sounds good, but they got to close themselves off and say, nope, it sounds terrible. I'm, I'm upset. Uh, so this one, I wouldn't doubt that there's some haters out there on Hooked on a Feeling. Not me, man. I'm not a hater. I like this a lot, man. So shout out to Blue Swede. And maybe we'll uh, come back around and check out BJ Thomas' version at some point. All right. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me here today, man. I hope you all enjoyed the reaction. Thank you guys for tuning in once again, man. If you guys enjoyed the content I produce on a daily basis, please consider becoming a member here on my YouTube or my Patreon for as little as three bucks. Dude, it's an amazing way to give back to the channel. Support me. If you guys are enjoying the content, don't forget, like, subscribe, check out the description, dudes uh, and ladies. And I'll see you on the next one. All right. Peace.